Now the Sportfish Restoration Fund is probably the best kept secret this country has. And it's a shame because everybody should know how much anglers do for conservation. And it's the product that they buy from these manufacturers that spend the money on these excise tax to ensure that we have good fishing. 1950 is when the Sport Fish Restoration Program was authorized. And in the 70 years since then, it has transformed many of our fisheries. When we go out and fish, we don't often worry about if there's fish or, or how many of them because of the success of this program. Events like what we had today is critical for not only the, the industry folks to get to know federal and state officials, but also because it's critical to employees of the agencies, like on my own agency, to get to know who the payers are, how they work, what their needs are. And for me, most importantly, is to find the overlap of uh, common goals and objectives for conservation. Fishing's about relationships. And when we have an event that brings these people together, partner with the pair, when you bring the individual companies that are producing the product and sell fishing tackle and actually pay a federal excise tax to uh, make sure that our fisheries are healthy, that we have fish, that we have clean water, and we have access to those fish. And it's really important that these manufacturers have a chance to talk to the state and the federal agencies and see what they're doing with that money. Until a few years ago, I had no idea where our excise tax dollars even went. Through outreach efforts from the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, we learned a lot about the great initiatives and programs that they have. Our ability to manage fisheries resources in the state would be greatly diminished without the sport fish restoration funds that are generated through these excise taxes. In the Freshwater Fisheries Program of South Carolina, they account for a little over 40% of our operating budget every year. Anglers have been investing in restoring sport fish populations for over 75 years. And this is a funding model that has been tried and true and proven, not only here in South Carolina, but across the country. Every single fishing pier and every single Take Me Fishing program that we have is funded by these excise taxes from our industry partners. I believe the best part of it is creating a system of equity uh, across the industry that we're all pitching in to make a better future and current state for the industry. I would say manufacturers are foundational to our system of funding conservation. If you didn't do this, we would not be able to do our jobs. I think that it's really important for manufacturers and industry to understand the impact that they have. It's easy as anglers for us to take it for granted that when we want to go put a boat in, that there's a boat ramp there or that when we want to go to a fishery that, that either fish have been stocked in that area or the fisheries populations are, are managed. And I want our industry partners to know, hey, you're a vital role. I'd tell the manufacturers that we could not do it without them. I'd tell them how grateful we are for enabling people to pursue their passion. And we want to be great partners as we sustain access and opportunity to allow people to, to continue to pursue those passions now and in the future.